Hello, this is Tor from EdCon. This is part two in our series, Common Problems When Performing Root Cause Failure Analysis. Sometimes the problem statement that we write down isn't a fact. We pick something that's not quite true, it's a little bit off and that makes our root cause very long. Sometimes we miss the root cause altogether because it was wrong. And what we typically do is we go out and we collect our data and we take that data, but then we add a couple of assumptions to that data and write our problem statement. So let me describe with a couple of simple examples. A root cause where the hydraulic cylinder was moving erratic and moving too slow. The group saw that and assumed that there was some type of mechanical resistance on that rod, one way or another. So they start working on that problem. A couple of hours later, rewrote the problem statement to what we actually saw, which was hydraulic cylinder is moving too slow, and we found out there was an internal leakage in the cylinder, but that's an example, very simple one, but where we have the wrong problem statement to start. The problem statement wasn't a fact. It was an assumption from what we saw, plus add a little bit. Another one is, uh, like in this uh, picture here, this, uh, um, I put a circle on that filter because it's hard to maybe catch it right away, but there was a filter and a and part of a hydraulic unit, and the problem statement was that the filter is clogged because there was no flow coming out after the filter. So what we observed was there's no flow after the filter, but we wrote the filter is clogged. And you can see how those two things are different. We went down the wrong path. It showed that the filters, nothing wrong with that. The cloggage or the stoppage were somewhere else. That's why we didn't have any flow. But it's a very easy mistake to make where we take what we actually see and we twist it, we try to be a little bit smart and jump ahead, and we add something that's, that may not be a fact, maybe just an assumption that seems obvious. So be careful with that when you do root cause failure analysis. Please continue to subscribing down here. Also part one was about how do we write problem statements um, that they're clear, that they're not an essay. You can go back and look at that and we'll continue um, with part three soon. Thank you for watching.